Dog was close to death in a plastic bag. When he was found, everyone stood shocked. Dog owners love their furry four-legged pets who are pretty smart, but sometimes they can be total nightmares. No wonder people treat pets as if they were children. Dogs tend to get themselves into trouble all the time, just like kids do. Before the video starts, please make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to never miss our amazing stories. It was July 10, 2016, that a small white dog was found in a plastic bag somewhere in Transylvania, Romania. The poor animal was close to death and clearly abandoned in the trash as though her life did not matter. When found, there were already worms in the bag. The dog had suffered a head injury and other traumas from previous abuse. Her leg was fractured, she was dehydrated, and she was starving. She was left for dead. The Good Samaritans, who found the abandoned animal, brought her to Transylvania Animal Care, where professionals immediately began to work. The dog was eventually named Anora, which means light. Doctors were able to remove the worms from the dog and brought down the swelling in her head as well. It was clear as they treated her that the animal's previous owner had abused her significantly. After getting better, Honora was eventually adopted by her now mother, Helen Taylor, in the UK. She started a fundraiser to gather money for Honora's medical costs. Honora was particularly plagued by a leg that hadn't healed properly. Thanks to all the support and money she received, Honora could undergo the necessary surgery in January 2017. Today, Honora lives with Taylor and her loving family in the UK. She's loving her new home and improving more and more every day. Looking at her in 2022, it sure looks like Honora lives a very happy life. It's wonderful to see. This poor innocent dog deserves all the love and care that she is getting after what she has endured. In another story, a puppy was rescued from a graveyard and had the best reaction when reunited with his saviors. Staff members at a cemetery in Missouri weren't too scared when they saw a shadow moving around in the darkness one night. Four-legged visitors had started appearing here and there at times, trotting through the grounds. A closer look in the light of the next day revealed the figure to be a small stray puppy. When workers noticed that he was missing most of his hair and that his paws appeared too raw to comfortable walk on, they called some experts they knew at Stray Rescue of Street Louis. Donna Lockman is the chief life-saving officer at the SRSL. While speaking with the dodo, Donna explained, they just get under the fence and decide that they like it because it's quiet. It's a huge cemetery, so they have a lot of space to get away from people. Lockman and the cemetery employees came together to devise a plan to catch and treat the stray puppy. First, they began a search of the grounds to locate the dog. Eventually, one worker found him resting under a bush after hearing some noise coming from the area. Lockman brought the puppy to a vet to help treat his skin and paws. The puppy was named Camper after a name on one of the tombstones where he was found. Once Camper was healed, Lockman and co-workers decided to bring the puppy back to his rescuers for a visit at the cemetery. It was really emotional for everyone, Lockman said, especially for Camper and the volunteer who called us. Camper immediately and excitedly ran at his rescuers, licking their faces and jumping from person to person. The cemetery workers were clearly sharing in the dog's happiness as well. The woman who called was so happy that we'd gotten him and that he was doing so well, Lockman said. On our end, we certainly appreciated that she contacted us so that he could get some help. After his reunion with his saviors, Camper returned to SRSL. Thankfully, he was not there for too long. The puppy was almost immediately placed with a doctor's family. He received medicated baths and pajamas to continue healing his skin, and the young dog also gets to play with many other dogs of various ages at the home. It's so fun to watch him play and be happy, knowing that he's not this scared, sick dog trying to survive on the streets anymore, Lockman said. Now he gets to just be a puppy. Another amazing story about a firefighter who adopted a dog he rescued from fire and then saved from being put down. When firefighters were called to an apartment fire in Des Moines, Iowa, they weren't expecting to find a dog trapped inside. A 16-month-old Mastiff was trapped in the fire and firefighters rescued him and supplied him with oxygen, according to the City of Des Moines Facebook page. When animal control arrived and assessed the dog's injuries, 
they said treatment would be expensive, with the other option being to euthanize the dog. The owner opted to put the dog down, but a firefighter stepped in. Firefighter Malcolm Cortner, who had helped rescue the dog, asked if he could take ownership of his new furry friend and pay for his medical expenses. The previous owner agreed that Malcolm could take ownership of the dog, and he was transported to his new loving forever home with a plan for treatment so he could recover properly from his ordeal. The dog, called George, is now happy and healthy in his new home. For dogs, the loss of a human or another pet can have a traumatic impact on their lives. Much like humans, dogs grieve the absence of someone they love. For so it's important we know how to help them. Dogs experiencing a loss can show signs of confusion, fear, or depression. If it's the loss of their owner, you may notice dogs trying to figure out where that person has gone. If it's another pet who has passed away, your dog may spend more time in their bed or favorite space, often with the hope that their friend may return. This dog was left heartbroken after owner dies, refuses to leave her side at funeral. When Maria Isabel Benites Champa was laid to rest at age 95 in Ecuador, one member of her funeral party refused to leave her side. Her beloved dog, Boomer, joined family and friends to pay their respects, but it was her faithful friend that didn't want to leave. During the wake for Maria, organized by Funeraria Santa Rosa, Boomer stayed by her side, just as he had done when Maria was alive. You could see the loyalty and affection that existed between her and her dog. A spokesperson for the funeral home told the dodo. He was always there with his owner. After the ceremony, a procession formed to follow Maria's coffin to the cemetery. It was then that Boomer jumped into the back of the car and refused to leave. He circled the hearse before hopping aboard as if to say, I want to go and say goodbye to my mom. The funeral home spokesperson said, a tremendous example of loyalty. According to the funeral home, the little dog was last seen being comforted by Maria's family. It's heartbreaking to see how much Boomer's loss is felt after his owner passed. We're so lucky to have such faithful and loving furry friends. I hope Maria's family can offer the love and support this sweet dog needs to help mend his broken heart. In another cute story, a lady was surprised to find two bright green bulldogs in her kitchen. Yada Ornsomjit had no idea what she was about to find when she woke up one morning. Her two French bulldogs had turned green from head to paws, and she wasn't sure how at first. She knew her pets didn't have any sort of special powers or anything like that, but something had caused them to hulk out. Then she realized she had forgotten to close the kitchen door before going to bed the night before. Somehow, the bulldogs had broken into her stash of green food coloring and made themselves green. Standing right in front of her, looking up were these admirable green creatures who probably didn't notice or didn't seem to mind that their fur had suddenly become green, but she actually did mind. The bulldogs hadn't just turned themselves green, but other areas too like their doggy bed. Her green food coloring was gone too, so she would have to go out and buy some more. Of course, her first priority was to restore her dog's original color. But this wasn't an easy task either, and she needed some help. Thankfully, Yada and her husband were able to lend a hand to get the food coloring out of the dogs. My husband and I spent half a day washing them about three times, but some parts of their bodies were still green, explained Yada. We were really tired, but they seemed not to know what they had done wrong. Yada and her husband had every right to be upset, but no one could stay mad at the pooches for too long. They're just too darn adorable to get angry with them. So once the initial frustration of cleaning them had passed, the couple undoubtedly laughed at the mayhem and foolishness the French bulldogs had brought into their lives. Yada documented what had happened on a video, which she uploaded, and netizens were elated. Some folks praised the pooches for doing such a great job at fully covering themselves all over, while others shared stories of how their pets did something similar. But everyone seemed to love how these pets appeared to have dove into a bucket of food coloring. Dogs are huge attention seekers, and if you don't keep a close eye on them, they'll get into trouble. They're like the ocean. You just can't turn your back on them. So unless you want to spend half a day trying to clean food coloring out of your dogs, you may want to invest in a lock on your kitchen door. In another story, a man saves puppies, but quickly realizes his big mistake. Everyone would probably react if they suddenly found five puppies in their own backyard. 
And that's exactly Craig McGetrick's experience too. He was clearing waste out of a garden in England with a friend when they came across an old mattress. They needed to lift the mattress in order to get rid of it, but they could never have imagined what was under it. To his surprise, five tiny puppies were lying under the mattress. After finding the puppies, Craig contacted a local animal shelter and posted some photos on Facebook, hoping he could help find the puppies a new home. But just hours later, he would learn a surprising truth about the little puppies, which changed everything. It was a day like any other day back in 2017. Craig was helping his clean up the neighborhood. They were in the cleaning process when they came across something he never would have guessed. Under a mattress, Craig found five of what he thought were little puppies or maybe kittens. Those were probably the only two options I knew of, McGetrick told the dodo and added, we thought someone had dumped them knowing we were going to remove rubbish. Craig decided to take the five little animals with him. He contacted a local animal shelter and asked them to take care of the babies. But before he handed them over to the shelter, Craig posted pictures on Facebook of the cute little pups as he was hoping to find a new owner. The photos were widely shared, and after a while, they found their way to a man named Martin Hemington, founder of the National Fox Welfare Society. As soon as he saw the pictures, he immediately got on the phone and called Craig, but not because he wanted to adopt the puppies. We were contacted by a lovely lady called Betchy through our Facebook page. Betchy had sent a few photos asking if the babies in the photos were indeed fox cubs. Hemington wrote in a Facebook post. We confirmed they certainly were. Becky advised us that they had been taken to a rescue center in Liverpool, mistakenly as puppies, not fox cubs. What Craig thought were puppies turned out to be five little fox cubs. Fox cubs don't initially look like foxes when they are cubs, so it's common for people to mistake them for dog puppies. Paul McDonald, a local rescuer known as the Fox Man, told the Dodo. Martin Hemington reached out to Paul, and he made sure the little fox cubs were somewhat hungry, which would cause them to start beeping for their mother. Paul then took them out to the same place where Craig had found the fox cubs, and carefully put them back. Not long after, they saw a fox approaching the cubs. Their mother had finally got her beloved little babies back. Vixens leave their cubs all the time whilst they are in the den, and as they get older they'll begin to explore their surroundings more and more, and become less dependent on mum as they get older, Paul McDonald. Thanks to Craig, Becky, Martin, and all the people who shared the photos, the mother fox finally got her beloved cubs back. Wonderful! That was it for today's story. Let us know below in the comments if you enjoyed this incredible story. If he is, leave us a like and see you in the next video.